AFTV, I'm here with Sheree. Sheree, we just watched the game, three points in the bag, away win, big away win, over to Man United next, visiting Etihad. How are you feeling? Good, good. I mean, second watch along, second win, so it's been, it's been good so far. But all, all I wanted today really was the three points. We're now in that end of the season where the points probably matter a bit more than the odd bad performance here and there. Um, I wouldn't say that was a bad performance today by any means going forward. But you shouldn't really need three goals to win to win a game. Um, I think we do need to stump that out against better opposition. But more than happy with today's result and the way we played going forward. A few goals to pick from. Like, what was your highlight of the game? The highlight of the game for me wasn't necessarily an individual goal, but it was the the way in which that we linked up for all of the goals. Um, players knowing where their counterparts were without even having to look at them. There was an element of fluidity with the play, and the finishing was clinical. I think. By the time we scored the third goal, I think we'd only had four shots on target and it was, it was three goals out of those four, right? And that's, that's what you want in, in an away game where you're not necessarily going to get loads of chances because you're up against a team that's fighting for their lives. You need to take the chances when they come your way and, and we did that. So credit to the boys. Yeah, I mean, I actually agree with you. There's a lot of pass and movement going on, something we haven't seen much of. On the watch along, we discussed how it seems that Lacazette's the type of striker Arteta wants. And then I threw a curveball in there saying, well, Oba started the season for him. Do you think we know what Arteta wants yet or are we still on the path to find out? I think we're definitely still on the path to find out in terms of that striker position. But in terms of what Arteta wants from players, I think it's quite clear. He wants you to give everything every time you get on the pitch. He wants every player to defend. And he wants an element of fluidity going forward with, with quick passing and quick movement of the ball. Um, Earlier on, when Arteta was trying to implement his philosophy on this team, there was a lot of criticism in terms of the team looks quite rigid, players may look overcoached, there's not a lot of people sort of drifting out of their position. But now, at least with that front four, there is an element of fluidity. People are interchanging on the flanks. There's a really good link up between Erdegaard and Saka. Yeah. Players know where they are. Players are not just winning the ball back and letting off a pass. They're getting straight into the six-yard box, which is exactly what Erdegaard did for his goal. Yeah. Um, and that, that's exactly what you need. And when you look at the teams that we're aspiring to be like in terms of going forward, the Liverpools and the cities of this world, that's exactly what that front four will do. They don't always pop up in the same positions. Um, they've got great chemistry, but they do charge into the box when they need to. And it's great to see. And uh, I mentioned it to Rob in his interview. Next week, we've got a massive week coming up. Leicester, Liverpool and Aston Villa. Um, what do you think we need to take out of those three games, those nine points, to remain confident off the back of it? I'd say six. Uh, I'd, I'd love seven. I'd, I'd, I, this isn't me being negative, but I just don't see us beating Liverpool um, because Liverpool, in my opinion, are European, if not world elite right now. And it's um, a title challenge for them at the moment. Exactly, and they're playing for a lot. And, and bringing in Diaz, I mean, what, what a player he is, right? So they're not short on options. So I'm, I'm being as realistic and as fair as I can here. I don't think we're going to get anything from the Liverpool game. And yeah. if we do, it's a bonus. But the Leicester game, honestly, th that should be three points. I'd be disappointed if it wasn't. The Villa game, I understand why some people are saying that, look, Villa are a different animal with, with Coutinho coming through, Jacob Ramsey playing very well. Yeah. Um, but I, I still think that we have more than enough to beat them. And I'd, I'd be disappointed if we, if we don't, particularly because I don't really think Aston Villa are playing for that much in terms, of, in terms of European aspirations right now. And they're not really in a relegation fight, but we have something to play for. So we ought to want it more. And in terms of the calibre of our team, I think we have what it takes. Are you confident of top four yet? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to sort of take a bit, more of a, a bit more of a firm stance on top four than I did last week. And it's because the results are accumulating and I'm looking at results elsewhere. Looking at the fixtures that we have, uh, we do have some difficult games, but um, some of these teams have to come to us, like United and so forth. So, And in terms of the table, it's in our hands. Um, focusing on one competition, seeing an 11 that looks relatively settled, an 11 that looks relatively happy. We're now seeing some good fluidity going forward. I'd be very disappointed if we didn't get top four, and I am, I am quietly confident, let's say. And similar question to Premzi. Um, Rumours of Arteta's new contract have surfaced over the last few weeks and month. Um, in your opinion, do you wait to see if top four is achieved to offer that contract or doesn't his extension come to the top four? You and I have both watched enough football to know that a season can turn upon its head within the space of three games. Um, so if, if people are saying that Arteta has got us into a top four race and as such he deserves a new contract, I'd have to respectfully disagree. But um, I don't think they need to be jumping the gun to make any decisions until the end of the season, not just with the manager, but maybe with certain players as well. Um, th there's an opportunity for a lot of players to really state their claim as to why they should remain next season. And there's an opportunity for Arteta to put his foot down and say, I am the man to take Arsenal Football Club into the future. There's absolutely no reason as to why that decision has to be made now. Um, I think it would in fact show an element of complacency and a distinct lack of ambition if a contract were to be awarded before we got top four. Wait and see. Let's see how it goes. Not sure, eh? Love.